Yo, what's poppin' y'all? So we got Death Battle, Black Adam versus Apocalypse, DC versus Marvel, obviously. Death Battle, like I said. <laughs> got out the way, let's go, let's get it. You guys let me know down in the comments before the reaction start. Who you guys think gonna win? Black Adam, Apocalypse? You guys know that um, both characters, they have an OP version of themselves. So I already watched through uh, the good portion, by the way. I just started the, re uh, the recording just now. A case for those who are wondering. So, without the way, let's go. Let's go. Let's not waste no time. Let's go. Oh, Sprite. Sprite with the 3D backgrounds. Like it. Okay. Where's your general, interloper? <laughs> yep. Interloper mutant sanctuary. Okay. Oh, Thoma. Thoma. Oh. Damn. Mm. Oh, we God, we <laughs> Oh, oh, your counselor will aid you no longer. Damn. Okay. Okay. We got the, the yellow ring. That's cool. That's cool. You wish my home to you, heretics. I shut up. Damn. I never offered you a choice. Now, everything you've built will fall. First of all, that was disrespectful. <laughs> Imagine getting stomped out. Then, then you're pretty much dead. Then get electrocuted. So, so for your skull, your face, I mean, could turn into you can see your, your skull. Dang. That's the most disrespectful <laughs> ending like I've seen so far from Death Battle. Yeah, I've seen pre pretty much all of them. Disrespectful. Yeah. In Sabanur sure brought the apocalypse to Kondok. And our camera, goddammit! Wait, that's gotta be like, what, 30 whole dollars? Fuck, man. This result yeah, surprised I got it. <laughs> us. For what it's worth, both Black Adam and Apocalypse displayed ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both of their power supplies compared to cosmic beings like the Phoenix and Super Gandalf. And both fought heroes like Thor and Wonder Woman. Right, the victor could not be deduced by strength and speed alone. Rather, it depended on how their abilities countered each other. In that regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. For starters, he could one-up the living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse 
Apocalypse had a better version of it, and then some. Frankly, half of Black Adam's pantheon granted him abilities that Apocalypse possessed through his mutant genes alone, notwithstanding all his other abilities from Celestial Tech, the Techno-Organic Virus, and the Death Sea. Well, Black Adam did have something Apocalypse didn't. The wisdom of Sahuti, Big Brain God, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. And without a Death Seed, Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. His telepathy got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't mind-read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have safeguarded him from mental attacks, but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. But most importantly, Apocalypse could absorb all of Black Adam's energy powers and turn him right back around. The living lightning may be enchanted, but it is still lightning. It's frequently displayed properties of ionized energy. Thus, there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't absorb it for himself. Plus, it's been shared between people many times before, and the more it's given to other hosts, the weaker the original bearer becomes. Hell, stealing the power of the Living Lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place, so Apocalypse could do the same. By slurping- Also, you guys let me know down in the comments, um, were, were they correct with some of the uh, things that have for Black Adam and Apocalypse? You guys let me know. That's all I gotta say. Black Adam's magic? Apocalypse grew in power while Black Adam got weaker. It was only a matter of time before Black Adam was literally helpless against the end of all things. Black Adam may have been power incarnate, but Apocalypse's wide array of powers and specific counters to the Living Lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Teth thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner is Apocalypse. I do. I did like the... Um... Especially now, the more incorporation of um, the advantage and disadvantage uh, for the results of their battles, stuff like that. So they got, they definitely gotten better with, with stuff like that. Also, the editing, I definitely like the ed edit, the ending sequence of when Apocalypse killed Black Adam. Like, that was cool. I, I fuck with that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next week. But you can always get more Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music linked down below. Next time. All right. <laughs> They're using trunks from Heroes and Silver from the Archie comics. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, here comes the Ragers, huh? <laughs> so yeah, y'all let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this death battle between Apocalypse and Black Adam. I know the next... Oh, man. See, <clears throat> See that, that's going to be the problem right there. Is every time they use, um, especially Dragon Ball Heroes, where it's so much in fluctuation with using the heroes because you got all, not only you gotta use the Xenoverse um, timeline, but also the things that happen in the anime, and also there's, there's so much continuity for heroes. <laughs> heroes in itself, there's a bunch of continuities, but there's also extra internal stuff like the Xenoverse series, the anime series, I was like. Oh lordy. And even like Silver with Archie comics. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's it for me. I'm out. Oh yeah, leave a like as always. Come on now. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Roll to thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I'm out. Stay safe and stay hydrated, y'all. Peace.